Hello everybody. Welcome back. Um, I wanted to post up another video that I hope will be helpful to those of you assembling either a stock or performance Volkswagen engine. Um, what I have here in front of me is the cylinder and piston uh, from the set of 94s that I'm putting on my 2332cc. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about setting what's called the piston ring end gap, um, which is important. Um, and if it's, if it's not enough, if the gap is improper when the engine starts running and heats up, uh, you may have the ends of the rings touch, which can cause catastrophic damage with a rotating um, piston uh, assembly. So you want to you want to go by the book and um, try and get this right when you're assembling the engine. You know, a little time spent now saves a lot of time and money later. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give out the spec uh, that the book calls for, and um, we're going to me then measure to see if my ring gaps are in spec um, for my number one cylinder here. Uh, anyway, I am referring to a book. It's a rather old book by uh, a gentleman named Bill Fisher, and it is and was called How to Hot Rod Volkswagen Engines. Um, let's see. Here's the gentleman's name that, that authored it. Uh, they have different chapters on different parts of an engine. There's a whole chapter devoted to assembling uh, pistons and cylinders and I have on screen here uh, the text that I'm referring to I hope it's not blurry where it says to the bottom left here a feeler gauge can be used to measure the end gap which should not be less than uh, 45 ten thousandths of an inch per inch of bore and so I'm going to keep that number, that .0045 in mind here. Um, just doing the math, uh, it looks like, apologize for the jumping around here, it looks like um, my 94 millimeter pistons take up about 3.97 inches of bore. And I'm just going to round that up and say it's 4 inches. So using that spec in the Bill Fisher book, 0 0.0045 inch um, of ring gap per inch of bore. I've got approximately four inches, so that makes me want to look for the target of 0 0.018 inches. And so I've already done the setup here before I started filming, so as not to waste you guys' time. But I've gotten uh, the top ring here in this number one cylinder. Um, I took the top of the piston and pushed the ring down square into the bottom of the bore. You see here, that's the bottom, the narrowest part of the cylinder. And I have my, I seriously doubt we're going to be able to see this. Okay, there they are. The number is just barely readable there. It's .018 feeler gauge. And if you watch my hand here, I hope I can do this without messing up um, you'll notice that that feeler gauge just fits inside that ring here I apologize for the darkness in my garage right now but needless to say bear with me just a second here okay um, it's not very visible but trust me when I say the 18 thousandths inch feeler gauge fits uh, snugly but not not completely snug into that gap there it's better to have a little bit more ring gap than too little uh, so as to err on the side of caution but anyway that's what you're shooting for whether it's a stock engine or a performance engine you want that 0 0.0045 inch of uh, ring gap per inch of bore. Um, I don't have the math in front of me, but I mean if you're using a stock piston, uh, say from a 1600, which is technically a 1584 I believe, 
that's 85.5 millimeters. You'd want to convert that to inches and then multiply that times the 0 .0045 uh, to know what gap to shoot for. So um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope th that uh, you're having a great Sunday and that your week ahead is a good one. And um, if you have any questions, please add those to the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching the channel and uh, please tell your friends about it. If you haven't already, give it a like, a thumbs up and uh, share it. And if you feel this is useful, um, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate it, guys. You have a great night and a great week. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.